Well, I thought it started with our uh, unselfishness at the offensive end. I thought we really moved the ball well. Uh, got a lot of ball reversal. We passed up some good shots to get great shots, uh, and guys stepped up and delivered. You know, the game's a lot easier you know, when you're going 11 to 16 from three. And I uh, thought whether it was man or zone, our guys did a good job of executing and sharing the basketball. And it was fun to watch. Past 40 minutes, considering the, you keep the lead, the double-digit lead, yeah, probably so. We had that one little stretch there in the second half uh, where we got a little too loose and relaxed uh, for my liking. Uh, but we came back and uh, built the lead back up. Uh, I thought our defensive effort was good. Uh, Jeffrey Moss did a nice job on Isaiah Jones, who can really shoot it from three. And then I thought we did a better job on Antonius Cleveland. He's a heck of a player. You know, scored 11 baskets, 22 points over at their place, and uh, able to hold him to 11 tonight and uh, forced him into four turnovers. So I, th I thought that was key for us as well. Shooting was contagious there early on. Is it encouraging knowing the ceiling of this team and what it can do? Well, it's, it's important, and especially if you're going to play a four-guard lineup. And then with the attention that Wayne draws down in the post, uh, you have to be able to make those perimeter shots uh, so people aren't just crashing down and double and triple teaming him in the post. So. If we can shoot the ball consistently from three, you know, it really opens things up for Wayne inside as well. Was the ball movement the, uh, the key to the uh, three-point shooting here tonight? No, I think so. I think just unselfish play, good execution. And you know, the big emphasis the last 48 hours for us, you know, through eight games of league play, we were first in the league and fewest turnovers per game, uh, really by a wide margin. In our last four games in stretches, we've just thrown the ball all over the gym. and. Uh, you know, we can't afford empty possessions like that. So we wanted to try and get our turnovers back down into the single digits. Uh, we were able to do that. You know, and anytime you can have 18 assists, only eight turnovers, you'll take that. Coach, you, uh, you benched D. McGee, and he gave you maybe perhaps the best performance of all of his guys, you know, yeah. of all your guys. Can you just talk about the sure. decision in that and what he brought yeah, to the table? Yeah, not a benching. Um, you know, I'm just challenging guys. Uh, to give us more, I uh, feel like our, our guys can step up and do more, and I'm going to keep challenging them to do so. I thought he was terrific tonight, you know, 9 of 11 from the floor. Did a really good job. He didn't just settle for threes every time. Even if he was open, he still ripped and drove it to the basket, finished plays. And then the four threes he took, you know, one was a, a fadeaway buzzer beater, heck of a shot, but the other three were rhythm threes. Uh, where Wayne had drawn some attention in the post, and he stepped up and knocked him down. So, and then gave us five rebounds as well. So I, th I thought he was terrific tonight. Is it an option to do that with Bryce and G every time if, if they like to see the game better and come in after maybe you know, a timeout or two? Yeah, you, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this week of practice goes. You know, we had the bye on Thursday, so we don't play till Saturday, and we've got a lot of getting better to do uh, this week on the practice floor. So I'm excited that we have some time. Uh, to really focus in on getting, bat getting better at both ends of the floor. And you know, we'll, we'll deal with the lineup a little bit later in the week. You plugged in Seymour after a uh, stellar performance in Edwardsville. He was good again tonight. Is that perceived depth for you? Well, Justin Seymour, and I have been singing his praises since, since we came back from Christmas, uh, from a leadership and energy and a communication and attitude standpoint, has been terrific. And I just always believe – uh, when your mind is right and when you're doing it for the right reasons, uh, your play will soon follow. And I think he's, he's had a lot of success on the floor uh, because of that. You know, he's shooting the ball extremely well from three. Uh, you know, he's just bringing a lot of energy to the team, really communicating out on the floor. And that, that's been a weakness of ours throughout the season. So I've been challenging guys to step up and do so. And uh, we need more of it as we go down the stretch here. Do you feel like your team is gelling at the, the right time? Well, you hope so. Uh, you know, we've we've played played better in stretches. Really, the last four games we've had double-digit leads. You know, we, we all know the you know the unfortunate finish to the the Austin P game. Uh, but outside of you know a few few stretches, uh, we've been playing pretty well at both ends. Uh, you know, we just we had to eliminate the turnovers. I mean, we just golly, some of some of the turnovers we've had the last two weeks, you know, boggle the mind. And uh, you know, we were. We took care of the ball. We, we valued each possession more and really shared the basketball. And I think that's why you saw a more efficient offensive performance. Wayne said you mentioned how important tonight's game was for you guys along with Benny. Um, what was your message to the guys and, and what did Benny mean to you personally? For sure. Well, you know, I think 
you know, as the coaches here at Murray State, it's our job and it's our duty to really teach our players, you know, about the tradition here, you know, the championship tradition, the, the players that have come before them, uh, you know, the fan base and what it means to, to the fans at Murray State. And as I explained to them before the game, they, they probably can't appreciate it right now, but they'll look back 20, 30, 40 years from now and know that they played in the game with the pregame tribute to Benny Purcell. And, uh, you know, for me personally, I mean, he's, he was, he's been unbelievable to me uh, since I got here. He's one of the first people to really welcome me into Murray State and uh, teach me about what, what this program's all about. And, uh, and my first year as a head coach has, has just been an incredible supporter and an encourager to me. And, uh, you know, as we all know, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it, you don't run into too many people who give you that type of support and encouragement in good times and in bad. And, uh, you know, he, he's just been great to me. And, you know, he's what Murray State basketball is all about. He's what Murray State University is all about. So, you know, just want to continue to uh, thank a Coach Mel Purcell and his family. And, uh, you know, as I told the guys, too, it's, you know, obviously we're sad uh, that, that we've lost Benny, but it, it's also a, a time to celebrate uh, the life that he lived and, and the impact he had on so many Murray State racers.